Today we are going to discuss the best investments that will pay you monthly. I would imagine that the majority of us would prefer a monthly income as opposed to a yearly income. The monthly cycle has been baked into everything we do nowadays. Whether you are thinking of water and electricity bills all of these come in monthly cycles. This is because the majority of the citizens of most developed countries get paid monthly by their employers. This poses challenges to people who have investments that pay at different cycles. For example, if you invested in bonds you are likely to receive your interest payments at the end of the year. If you invest in stocks you are more likely to be paid twice a year in dividends. This definitely creates problems for people who rely on such types of investments to pay their bills. This is because their cash inflows are out of sync with the arrival of bills. 1. Invest in investment trusts that pay monthly. If you want to get paid monthly then one alternative is to invest your money in investment trusts that pay monthly. Unfortunately, these are the exception rather than the norm. The majority of investment trusts prefer to pay quarterly or biannually. Another downside of this is that when you have few options you increase the risk of putting your money in a risky investment trust. These investment trusts are the ones that are too aggressive and put people's money into high return but high risk investments. If you are a low risk investor, you would want to avoid investments that buy bonds from emerging markets for example. If you observe the news you will have heard of countries like Argentina that recently defaulted on their loan repayments. They eventually met with their creditors where many private creditors agreed to take some huge losses. It is such types of investment that may not be good for ordinary citizens. However, it is these same investments that make more money as the bonds from most emerging countries attract high interest rates. My point is therefore that if you want to go for these investment trusts that pay monthly you need to take a very closer look at these trusts. You need to be comfortable with the type of investments these trusts make. Because once you join it is your money that will form part of those risky investments. 2. Real Estate Investments One of the easiest investments you can make is in real estate. In this one, you will own various properties for rent out to tenants. If you want to venture into this you need to be prepared to raise a significant amount of money as initial capital. At the bare minimum, you need at least the deposit that is required for mortgages these days. In some cases, you may need more than the deposit as you may need to buy one or two fittings for the house in some cases. Having said that it is in my opinion one of the easiest ways to make money monthly with minimal effort. Most renters pay monthly and it should not be a problem to find a tenant willing to pay you monthly. Even better you could find tenants that want to pay you in advance, 6 months in advance sometimes. The good thing about this investment is that the only time you will be required to do any work is when there is a fault or a repair job. This should not be a problem if you have in your portfolio, brand new houses. 3. Renting out your spare room. If you live in the cities one of the ways to make extra money every month is to rent out one of your spare rooms if you have any. There are so many young people in desperate need of accommodation in our major cities. These young people are at a stage where they cannot afford to get their own house and would be more than willing to share a house. If you decide to go this route I would advise you that you screen your tenants carefully. You should have tenants that have lifestyles you are comfortable with. For example, if you don't drink then maybe it would be better if you got someone who does drink. And if you get someone who drinks you would want to have someone who drinks responsibly. I remember a couple of years ago, I lived in a shared apartment and we had this troublesome young lady who was on drugs and alcohol. She would fight with her boyfriend and bang doors whenever they were drunk. As you would imagine I never enjoyed my stay in that house. It disturbed everyone's peace, to be honest. Another thing that you need to do is to set the house rules at the outset and the consequences of not abiding by those rules. In this way, this new roommate will be aware of what is expected of him or her. It is not a good thing to create rules after the tenant is already in. Any reasonable person would not want to live like that. 4. Airbnb Another way you can use your spare room or house to make extra cash is to register with Airbnb and start receiving guests. This could be a lucrative business in most major cities. I like this arrangement as you only have the guest or guests for a few days or weeks at most. You therefore can tolerate some nuisance knowing it will end soon. 
whereas in the case of a roommate above you are stuck with him or her for at least six months or a year depending on the tenancy agreement. Another cool thing about Airbnb is that there is no minimum or mandatory time you have to host, so you can block off dates when you are not available. Airbnb also allows you to set the minimum or maximum night a guest can stay. This even extends to how far guests can book in use of advance notice. Airbnb also allows you to set nightly prices, cleaning fees, etc. If you live in big cities, I can assure you that there is no shortage of potential guests. You should, therefore, be able to make a stable monthly income. Five, make money blogging. Another easier way to make money monthly is through blogging. I have been making money blogging for almost 15 years now on a part-time basis. You can, therefore, trust my word that blogging can make you money monthly. I should however inform you that most bloggers do not make huge sums of money. There is however a minority that makes serious money. There are bloggers like Bobby Bobby Hoyt of Millennial Money Man and Facebook ads for bloggers who make six-figure sums. Most of us if we put our minds to it should be able to make at least a full-time income after working hard for a year or two at least. There is nothing like easy money in this world. Don't believe anyone who tells you that you can leave your full-time job after a few months of blogging. It can happen but I can tell you from experience that that is the exception rather than the norm. You need to be willing to post at least a post a week for a few months before Google even recognizes you. In the first 6 to 8 months you will be getting negligible traffic if at all. However, if you have done a good job in that period you will start seeing the benefits at the end of this drought period. It is therefore important that in the early days you put your heart to it and post as many good posts as you can. Having said the above I should add that if you are lucky you can still get significant traffic from other sources like Pinterest. I have heard of people who get thousands of traffic from Pinterest even after a few months. It all depends on the niche you are blogging about. Pinterest is dominated by women and that is the demographic that you need to target. Things might change in the future but at the moment at least 60% of the members are women. Therefore when you are creating pins you need to focus on that demographic and the type of images that appeals to them. Ways blogs make money. Before I go let me share some ways you can make money through blogging. There are so many ways but the one that most people use is through pay-per-click or per-views advertisements. The major player in the field of this type of advertising is Google AdSense. There are however other players such as AdThrive, Mediaveen who are Google partners. They use Google adverts but also have their own adverts. Other major players include Yahoo and MSN who between them combined, control at least 30% of the market of online advertising. As you can tell Google continues to be the major player with over 60% of the market. To be accepted into the Google AdSense program you need to meet some minimum requirements such as the number of posts. The topics covered should also be in line with their politics. Google does not accept sites that deal with tobacco and guns for example. The other Google partners also have their own requirements besides the Google AdSense requirements. For example, Mediaveen requires 50,000 sessions, at least 60,000 page views, per month for a blog to be accepted. Another way a blog can make money and which is perhaps the most lucrative is through affiliate marketing. In affiliate marketing, the blogger will promote a product and gets a cut from the sales that come from his affiliate link. If you are promoting a good and higher priced product you only need a few sales to hit $1,000 or more per month. Whereas to hit $1,000 with Google AdSense you need thousands of page views. I have seen blogs that get almost 100,000 visitors a month and yet fail to hit $1,000 a month. To make money with Google AdSense you need to use their partners, AdThrive, Mediaveen, and others. This is because they endeavor to show only the well-paying adverts. Six. Peer-to-peer -peer lending. Another way you can make money is by engaging in peer-to-peer -peer lending. This is where ordinary people can lend each other money online. There are websites that connect people with money to lend and those looking to borrow. The interest for these loans is usually higher than the one you find in the formal traditional banking sector. And because of this one can make more money through this peer-to-peer -peer lending. 
The only problem is that the risk of losing your investment is also high. That should be something that should be on the back of your mind when participating in this. 7. Social Media Influencer Did you know that if you have a large following on your social media account you can make money from that? Not many people are aware of this but there are many social media influencers that are making a decent income through their followers. If you have thousands of followers you can ask companies to allow you to advertise their products for a fee. I have heard that the big influencers with millions of followers can make upwards of $50,000 per post promoting a product. You may not make this amount but could make a decent sum depending on the I will stop here for now on the best investments that will pay you monthly. All you need now is to go through this list and pick the one that you are comfortable with. From my experience, it is important to start with one thing and master it other than overstretching yourself by engaging in many things. If you do that I can assure you that you will struggle to meet your goals. Life is not all about work, therefore, avoid overstretching yourself and stressing yourself out. It will just make you sick and therefore may not enjoy the results of your sweat.